Peter, first to you, we've just gotten some new reaction from the former president. What, is, what do we know from his statement? Well, this is our first reaction from former President Trump coming just moments ago. It is an extensive 12 paragraph uh, statement where he attacks the New York attorney general and he's hypercritical about New York, not just the state, but the city itself, saying it's crime ridden and the like. Here's the specifics of what he says, pushing back against uh, this investigation now becoming one that is a criminal matter. He says there is nothing more corrupt than an investigation that is in desperate search of a crime, but make no mistake, that is exactly what is happening here. He goes on to describe it as a political and a partisan witch hunt, and he specifically takes on Letitia James. Of course, she is the attorney general in New York, um, noting that when she was a candidate, that she said she would be going after President, uh, then President Trump, that she would be pursuing him, prosecuting him, and says she made all of those statements before she had any evidence or had seen any of the facts. He insists that he did nothing wrong here, of course, and puts it in the same framework as many of the other criticisms he's had of, of the investigations of him, uh, suggesting it's all a part of that witch hunt. But the bottom line here is that this is a, a step forward in terms of this investigation. We've now learned, according to a source familiar with this matter, that the attorney general's office has now uh, cross-designated two of its attorneys to help with the investigation that was already a criminal one being done by the district attorney's office in Manhattan. That, of course, the office of Cy Vance. The president um, ha has had a series of investigations into his business dealings, but the one in Manhattan obviously was the one that was at the forefront of all this. It was the one by Letitia James, the New York attorney general, that had been more civil as it pursued some of the details here. So I'll leave it to the rest of the panel to get into exactly what it means. But from Cy Vance, who is the district attorney, he had said that if anything were to happen here, we thought the statute of limitations would likely uh, expire soon. His term ends at the end of this year. So if either of these prosecutors, Andrea, sees reason to go forward, something to charge either the former president, his associates, members of his family, or the company with, it would appear likely that would happen before the end of this year, Andrea.